round robin tournament. Always fun. Back up later on is Friars today, donning the home whites, big black numerals on their back. Sending gold left on your screen here in the opening quarter. Bryant in their familiar black road jerseys with gold numerals. And right opening face off is going to be scooped up on the wings by Owen Finetto. And the Friars will get the opening possession of the game. Dodging out of trouble, gets it over to goal of the season. The Friars leading this one 1 0. Face off's going to be popped back towards the Bryant box, scooped up by Tanner Alexander, who tosses it to his brother, Tegan Alexander. And now the Bryant all even up at one apiece here at the chap. Goal comes at 10 35 of the first quarter. And the face off's going to be popped back and scooped up by the Friars, Luca Miola, the freshman from Austin, New York. It's at 11.56 of the first quarter, so Friars back on top. Back to the face-off X we go. And it's going to be won by the Bulldogs. La Liberty comes up with it, fires in close, and what a feed and finish. Greninger able to dump it in. And quickly, the Bulldogs respond. Kevin Greninger's first goal of the season. And it was the Liberty off the faceoff. I tell you, it's a heck of a crowd here. So we go back to the faceoff X. Into this first quarter, Bryant with the response, just about not even nine seconds. And a violation on the faceoff. Gives it right back to Bryant. And he'll get it in for Fedorcha. Comes on over now. Here's Tomchik. Begins his dodge up high. She's challenged by Miola. And the faceoffs, I think, unofficially are probably about two apiece. Will be La Liberty, who won one cleanly early. That time he moves a little early against Quinn McConaughey. McConaughey was spectacular last week against Holy Cross, won 71%. The faceoffs he took was 15 of 21 in that season opening win for Providence. Here comes Michael Shaw. That is his first goal of the season and 65th of his career. This time, early movement by McConaughey. And the Bulldogs will have a chance to equalize things. That goal comes at 137 of the second quarter. We go back to the faceoff X. It's been a good battle of Liberty and McConaughey. This time Liberty comes up with it. Takes a hit, keeps on trucking. For Liberty last year on the season, 59%. One of the captains on top, 4-3. Four, four different goal scores for the Friars, three different goal scores for the Bulldogs. And another opportunity here for the Liberty to go to work. Gets the face off once again, takes a big hit, rolls with the ball, still holds on, fights through two, make it three Friars, and finally turns it over. A big hit afterwards and some extra. And they're going to get the Friars. Well, the violation is getting tangled up with the Liberty was John Huffnagel. The grad and ties things up once again at four apiece. And coming at 6.28. Friars win the faceoff. Good work that time by Tom Fegley. Friars trying to initiate offense early here. Now we'll settle behind the net with Joseph. This one again, the first time they've trailed. Not only today, but all season. Again, it's only game two, but a little bit of adversity here for the Friars to get through. And it's La Liberty who comes away with the faceoff win. Five minutes left in the set. Working on that. Live stats are almost there. Hopefully we can get some of those official numbers to you later on. Face off underway, and this time it's Fegley coming away with it for the Friars. Down the middle he goes. Fegley the shot and pushes it wide. 
Backed up, however, by Richie Joe. McConaughey, who was at 71% last week, just three of nine so far today against Nathan Liberty. So the Friars, again, will defend goal to the left on your screen here to start this third quarter. Bryant defending goal to the right. The netminders, Corsaniti for the Friars. Tegan Alexander for the Bulldogs. A pair of Bulldogs with two goals each, Greninger and Lonsinger for the Friars. Four men with a goal and assist each, Joseph, Chabra, Bell, and Jobber. As we go to the 13th faceoff of the day. Looks like the Friars will send McConaughey out there against La Liberty. And as they reset the ball in a better position here for both men and everybody in place for the start of this third quarter. La Liberty able to scoop his way past McConaughey, but a lazy pass there. Still managed to get to Ronan. There's a Liberty, maybe a little bit too casual, but didn't bite him. Last year, seven goals, four assists for Druin. It took Bryant just a minute and one second here in the third to get on the board. The Liberty, who's found good rhythm and on these faceoffs, wins another one fairly cleanly. We'll send it across for Greninger. So well order over a quarter's worth of game time without a prior goal, and Providence finally gets one. Early movement by the Bulldogs on the faceoff. Providence a chance to make it a one-goal game. Coach that one at 8-12 of the third. We go back to the faceoff X. Bryant has won nine out of 15. This one, an epic battle. The Liberty got tied up with McConaughey, but coming off the wing to scoop it up. It's Connor Whalen. In between the strikes from Lonsinger and Walsh. Well, Liberty. Able to get the ground ball again. And now the Bulldogs. See if that'll disrupt the flow of the Liberty. And does not change the fortunes of the Friars. La Liberty able to get the clamp on it quickly. And off to the races he goes. Up ahead, one-handed grab. Goltz the chance. Goltz in close and a score. Timeout did nothing to nullify the roll that the Bulldogs are on right now. Goltz gets his second of the day. And again, it all starts with the faceoff. Nice little grab that time by Luca Lietti. And then Goltz able to dodge past his man right through the heart of the defense. And another Bulldog goal. This one just 12 seconds after the last one. Bryant outscoring Providence 5-1 now in the frame. They'll throw Miola out there again and again. Too easy for the Bulldogs. As they'd actually thrown J.J. Murphy, the redshirt freshman. So here we go, back to the faceoff X once more. La Liberty got the drop that time on Olenek. It was fired wide. It'll stay with Bulldog, but simply ran out of time. It's going to have to start with some... Either winning the faceoffs or getting those cause turnovers. Right now, the Friars just seven cause turnovers on the day and another faceoff win. Uh, another one of those crazy behind the back passes from La Liberty. He's feeling it right now, and why not? The domination, largest lead of the day so far. Took him just 42 seconds in the fourth to get on the board. Ball still loose, but again, a win off the wing for Connor Whalen. With the answer to the Druin goal. But still down by five. Early movement on the Friars. Easy face-off win for Bryant. Area where the Friars have had their troubles today. On these face-offs, the Liberty has had their number. And again, outstanding wing play. Able to back them up. Cole Garvey coming up with a ground ball there. One less wing player this time for the Bulldogs. So this one will be more up to Nathan Liberty. This is where he needs to shine. 
Begley making it a battle. And somehow the Liberty comes up with it again. He'll hold on for now. Chased out by Latimer. And nearly midway through the fourth. Well, Liberty. Again, helped out by one of his wingmen, but eventually it's the Friars that come up with it. Latimer chucks it up. Ahead. I think it, they're going to send out... Is that Jack McCloskey? We'll see. Or is it J.J. Murphy? J.J. Murphy, who won his only other faceoff earlier. Coach Ross talking about him, said special player as well. They've been blessed to have so many. Bryant's Finn Murray, the grad transfer from Kenya. And it's going to be won by Providence. Well, here we go. A chance to make it a one-goal game. Man-up opportunity here for the Friars. 0 for 1 so far, but that... And... Ooh, nearly a hold there. What a face-off win. Begley down the middle, the shot, and oh, what a lunging trail check that time as going airborne was Garvey. Now the Liberty, who stayed out there. And now Bryant can... And the Liberty able to kick it forward, wins it back, sends it behind him. And now the Bulldogs again can... It's going to bounce towards the box. We had a pile up, and it's going to be a loose ball push on the Bulldogs. And we'll go to the Friars. So a chance now for Providence to tie things up. It has not been tied since it was 4-4. Liberty against, looks like Tom Fegley out there. sure exactly what the delay is for and now we're underway one by the Friars but it's not gonna have enough time Bell sends it ahead it's gonna be another turnover flung up into the air and that will do it the Bulldogs